March 6, news broke that the Minister of State for Labor and Employment, his wife and son had died in a ghastly motor accident along the Kaduna Abuja Highway. Nobody saw it coming and the shock remains difficult to overcome. Today, all three of them are interned in Abocho Township in Dakina local government area, which lies 51 kilometers away from Lokoja, the Kogi state capital. On a hill far away, stood an old The service of sons was attended by the four surviving children ministers, lawmakers, the immediate past governor of the state, Idris Wada, the present governor, Yahaya Bello, and the vice president of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshimbajo. The atmosphere was somber. His Lord, his Lord, his Lord. We are encouraged and made proud by his legacy. My mother, was a mother to many, and she impacted many lives, as did my brother in his own circles. The lives we mourn for left an indelible mark in most of our lives. We can honor their memories by striving to be the best we can be as political and religious leaders, as professionals, as responsible people in general. Apart from his family members, his colleagues wore long faces as they recalled some of the great moments they spent with the man who has been described as a great lawyer, an excellent teacher, and a good family man. On behalf of the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, the people of Nigeria, and the Federal Executive Council, who are represented here, we extend our sincere condolences to the family and especially the children. But we are confident that the Almighty God will give you all the blessings of the seed of the righteous. In Jesus' name, amen. As the federal government and the people of Nigeria pay condolences to the family, the prayer of many is for the souls.